se. Hi. My name. <laughs> Hi. I'm Ben Ward. As a photographer and a videographer in quarantine, it's super easy to get into a little creative rut. You know, you don't, don't know what to do since you can't really go outside too much. You can't hang out with people. So here are some tips and tricks and tutorials of what to do during quarantine, how to film and photograph at home. <laughs> First, Scott and I chose which backdrop we were going to use for the interview shot. I have a few different colored backdrops, but I chose the dark gray because it's the one I have the most of and it looks the nicest for an interview. Uh, I got this backdrop from Zach, I'm actually borrowing it from him, so thanks Zach. And then we started setting up the lighting. We did two continuous lights, one with a reflector panel and another with a softbox. These lights aren't the best, but you know, they work. And then set up the chair for the shot that you saw earlier. Then we use the backdrop to also get these nice shots of Scotty throwing up the lenses. We then decided to use the same backdrop because it was a nice clean color uh, to do some product photography shots. So we took the equipment that we were using, including the lenses and the batteries and the filters that we use on our cameras, and we set them up on the backdrop. Then we moved the camera closer so you could see easier. You can see us changing the, oh, I don't know what's going on. All right, then you can see us changing the position of the camera and the products and everything. We have the lights moved lower so that you can see that there's not very harsh shadows. It's pretty soft. We just wanted to show what equipment we use to shoot these products. And there you have it. And then after this, we'll show you the before and after us editing each photo. All right, so for this part, we adjusted the lights a little bit to a higher height. We um, made sure we changed the settings to ones that we like, so we changed our aperture and our exposure. We also used a flash to make um, our images a little bit brighter. And then, you know, we just kind of took some photos. Um, kind of when you're taking portraits of someone, try to um, make them feel comfortable, make them act natural, just so um, you kind of get a normal um, look from them. And uh, yeah, so these are some before and afters of some shots that we took. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys learned some new things and hopefully you guys get some cool shots with these uh, tutorials. Thanks.